Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to continue our discussion on the graph searches and we have already seen one graph search algorithm which is the breeze first search and we are going to see a new uh, uh, graph search algorithm but before we go ahead I'm going to do a uh, slightly longer review for the entire video this one uh, if you feel like you have a, you, you still remember everything and well feel free to skip this video okay so the first part we talk about the graph graph presentation. So graph uh, presentation, we only need to define two set of the two set of the objects. One is uh, the edges and the other is uh, the other one is the vertices, right? And well, depending on how many edges do we have, and we can we have two different types of the graphs, uh, the dense graph and the sparse graph. So for the dense graph and the, the uh, the total number of the edges is roughly uh, the uh, the number of the vertices squared. So this means uh, if we randomly pick two vertices or two nodes, and it is very likely that there is one edge between them, right? And uh, for the uh, direct undirected graph, and this means for for the edges, and they are the same no matter which way it goes. So uh, the edge from U to V is the same edge from V to U, and then that is a undirected graph. And for the directed graph, and we emphasize on uh, the direction. So we have to say the edge U and V is an edge from the vertex u to the vertex v okay and uh well for the <clears throat> for the graph for each of the edge and we can assign a weight so a weight can be uh, zero or one saying whether there is an edge between u to v or not or we can say well the weight from the u to v is a specific value for example 10 in this case 10 will be the weight of the edge uh, so uh, the next thing well uh, how do we uh, represent a graph using a data structure so the easiest thing is we create a n by n matrix and n will be uh, the total number of the vertices so if we have uh, the vertex 1 vertex, vertex 1 vertex 2 and all the way to vertex n and then to represent uh, the uh, the, uh, the possible edges and then we have to create an n by n matrix Okay, and in this n by n matrix, in Aij is one if there is indeed an edge uh, from i to j, and otherwise there will be a zero. Uh, the problem with uh, the adjacency matrix is well, if we have to store uh, the graph with n nodes, and then we have to create a n by n uh, memory space. So it works well with a small graph, but if you have thousands or millions of the vertices, and then it will take too much of the memory space uh, oops. and then well the next thing is well if uh, we want to uh, do the graph 13 so for the graph 13 actually we want to achieve two different goals at the same time and the goal one is we want to explore uh, every vertices and then uh, and every edge so this is the first goal and the second goal is well we also want to create a tree structure so we want to keep some uh, all, we want to keep definitely all the nodes but we don't want to keep all the edges we want to pick part of the edges and then we want to create a a tree structure and if it doesn't work because part uh, several parts of the tree or several parts of the graph they're not connected and then it's not doable with just one tree and in this case we have to create a forest Okay, and uh, this is the breeze first search we have talked last time. And the, the strategy is we want to visit one vertex at a time, and then we want to explore the uh, the boundary of our search across the breeze of the frontier. Uh, the frontier, okay, and uh, and also we on the fly we want to build. A tree structure and we want to make use of the different colors so at the very beginning we color all the vertices to be white so a white node means well it has not been discovered and then if we have discovered a node and then that node hasn't been fully explored yet and then it is a gray vertices 
uh, and then uh, eventually if we have finished explore the current node and then all the direct vertices connected and then we will color the node to be black okay and then uh, if we want to search uh, do a, a brief search uh, brief first search for this one and then we specify we want to start the search as an S so to set this up and at the very beginning we color all the nodes to be white and after that, well, we send the root, which is S, to the queue. And remember, when we are doing the breeze first search, we are making use of a queue disk structure. So a queue is the disk structure allows us to do the first in, first out, right? So and then we are going to iteratively uh, put, uh, pop one from the queue, and then we explore all the adjacent white nodes. Okay, so if we want to pop this, uh, pop the S up, and then we explore all the adjacent white nodes, and then we have the R and W. So we have the W and R put into the Q, and then we highlight those two edges with red, saying those two edges will be used in the tree structure. And after that, S will be changed to black because now we have finished visiting S and then we have also finished uh, exploring all the uh, adjacent white nodes, right? So the next one, we want to pop up another one from the head of the queue, which is W. So we pop up W and then for the two uh, adjacent white nodes, which are T and X, we add them to the queue. And then after that, we have explored all the adjacent white nodes of W, and then we say, okay, W can be black now. And the next node, which is the front of the queue, will be R. So we pop R out, and then we add V to the queue, because V is the next node adjacent to R, and that is also in white color. So we pop R out, and then uh, we put the V here, and then we, hi we highlight this edge with red color, saying this edge will be will be taken into the tree structure we generate. And after that, T will be the next. So T is connect to U, and the U is already uh, is a white node. So we want to pop up, uh, pop up T, and then uh, put the U in the queue, and then T is black. So in this case, when we are exploring the adjacent nodes of T, and you see there is U, and then we have already added the U to the queue. And however, W is also an adjacent node to T. But since W is in black color. This means W has already been explored and we have already finished exploring W. So we don't want to put W into the queue again here. And the same similar thing for X. So for the X, it is gray, right? It is gray means we have already discovered the gray node X. However, we haven't finished visiting that yet. And in this case, we see X is an adjacent node to T, but the color is gray. So this means this X, we don't have to add that to the queue again because that X is already in the queue. So when we are doing the explore, uh, exploration, we only want to visit white nodes and then add the white nodes to the queue. And after that, the next thing we are going to visit will be X. So uh, for the X, the only adjacent Y node we haven't discovered yet is the Y. So we put Y to the queue and then X is popped out and colored into black. And eventually we visit V and then there's nothing new we can add. We visit U, there's nothing new. And we visit Y, there's nothing new. So eventually the queue is empty and then we have colored all the nodes into black color, right? Okay, and for the uh, for the breeze first search, uh, well, it, uh, well, instead of, uh, well, it, it help us to visit all the edges and all the nodes and then it also generates a, a tree structure for us. But in addition, breeze first, no, uh, breeze first search will calculate the shortest path distance from any node to the source node and for the source node node and that is just the uh, the tr uh, the tree root right so well uh, for any node and for example like this y so it's uh, there there is a three here 
And this means from y, if we want to go back to the root, so we will have to follow the red passes so y to x one half x to w another half and then w to s another half so there there are a total of three halves that we can go from the y to the s and that is the shortest pass guaranteed Okay, and uh, when we are doing the uh, breeze first search and the time complexity uh, will be the O of the V plus E. And then V is how many vertices we have and E is how many edges we have. Okay, so that is a short review for what we have learned so far. And then the next, uh, the next video, we are going to move on to uh, the depth first search. Okay.